Are domestic violence survivors treated fairly in our justice system? That's a question of the center of stories we're bringing you every Friday during the month of February. And one News Channel 8 anchor Brenna Rose brought directly to the state's new attorney general. Mark, heartbreaking and discouraging. Those are the words Oklahoma's Attorney General used to describe the state's domestic violence situation. There are flashes of what appeared to be a picture-perfect life. I mean, it was just so charming. Um, made me feel... Like, so wanted and special. Once a promise of forever fractured by abuse, documented in police reports, protective orders, and photos. As many of you are aware, we have made some police calls here in the past in reference to some uh, domestic violence issues. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored. The months immediately, you know, preceding that night, um, I was just constantly and I'm constantly afraid for my life. April Wilkins case was never a whodunit and after decades behind bars for first degree murder is still trying to explain why she pulled the trigger eight times. I was going to do it or pay for it later. Now along with her attorney, she's helped collect the stories of other domestic abuse survivors. They feel like these are stories that have been buried for too long and things that people haven't understood or heard about how the system works. Assistant McCarty and a coalition of Oklahomans argue is archaic and criminalizes abuse survivors for actions they take defending their lives. If you've been traumatized or abused, trust issues are very real. We took those concerns to Oklahoma's newly sworn in attorney general. I think that we've had the focus on the, the batterer and, and, and hiding the victim uh, traditionally. Now I think what we need to do is we shift that balance to where we bring the victim out and protect her and identify her and provide services legislatively and legally, um, and we we put the batterer away. Uh, we, we, I love Oklahoma. Gettner Drummond says domestic abuse is an issue the state needs to address. I grew up in the Osage and was exposed to domestic battery and violence in the community that I grew up um, and. You know, we have to have elected officials, appointed officials, people that are powerful and influential own this. It's not um, a, an ethnic issue, it's all of us, all Oklahomans, irrespective of income level, nationality, background, uh, it affects everyone. A no-brainer to think what was the motive for this act of homicide. Oh. Okay, he was choking her to death. That was her only choice between her life and his. Yeah. And Representative Tony Hassenbach is proposing a bill that she thinks could help. The Universal Defense Act would give the court more discretion in sentencing crimes where abuse played a major part. As a Representative Hassenbach is a warrior, uh, would not stand in her way if she's passionate about something. And what I think what we can see is that will be a popular uh, bill and my office will give its full support behind her, um, that's something that needs to happen. I mean, that's one of the things that people keep saying. It's like, this is a slippery slope. Everybody's been abused. It's like, the law that we are advocating for requires the person who's asking for sentencing relief to submit three pieces of documentary abuse. Including 911 calls, police reports, or hospital records. What would your message be to those lawmakers who are gonna be looking at this bill and voting on it? I think I'd like them to think about if their daughter was in this situation and their daughter felt so isolated, or their sister, or a female relative, if they felt so isolated that they couldn't come to them and ask for help, and they couldn't find a way out, and they reacted in self-defense or out of pure trauma. I would like them to think about if they would want that person to go for the absolute maximum sentence that, they, that we have in Oklahoma, which is the longest time possible. It's life or life without parole. Or if they would want them to have the chance to have that abuse and the things happening to them be considered by a court. I mean, I've never been that scared in my life. Um, and I just, you know, I knew without a doubt that um, he was going to murder me and it was going to be the small, slow, excruciating death. 
Now, we reached out to the District Attorney's Council for comment, but we're told it would reserve judgment until it has the opportunity to see the language in this bill. Tulsa County District Court denied relief to April Wilkins on her post-conviction relief application. Her attorneys have appealed that decision to the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals. Brenna Rose, News Channel 8.